We invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Lash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, today is a very big day in America. Election day, and I'm gonna receive a great honor from the city. They're using my antique stuff for voting a place. Mamma mia, I'm so proud. I'm a clean up, a sweep out the store, and as a look, a speak and a span. How do you know that a picture I'm of God of a Washington across in the Delaware? I'm a scrub that a picture so hard, as a look like a Washington is a rowing in a fresh water. <laughs> Yes, Mamma Mia, is election a day. But it's, but it's hard to believe some citizens, they don't appreciate this right to vote. They don't even bother to vote at all. But then I'm reading a paper about another citizen. He's a fellow so proud that he's a voter seven times. <laughs> of course, this year is not too much excitement, but last year there was a voting for a president. Everybody was trying to guess who was going to be elected. But there was only one fellow who was really sure. That's Dr. Gallup. <laughs> He's a pick, Mr. Dewey. He was an all right, but you must give this Dr. Gallup credit. He was a very close. Dewey is coming a second. <laughs> but like I'm going to say, this year is only a little election. They're not voting for people, they're voting for issues. Yesterday, I was reading the ballot, but I'm not understanding too much. So I was going to my night school class to ask my teacher, Miss Spalding. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Please. That's better. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Hannah and Miss Spaulding, I'm a brought to you this apple. Well, thank you. Mr. Horowitz? Here. And I, Miss Spaulding, also brought you an apple. <laughs> How sweet of you. Mr. Schultz? I'm independent. I did my homework today. <laughs> I'm only fooling, Miss Spaulding. You brought an apple, too. Well, no. In my delicatessen, we was out of apples, so I bought you this can of apple sauce. <laughs> Class, I think this is very sweet of you, and, well, thank you. Now for our work. I told you yesterday we were going to have a test, so let's begin right now. Himmel, such ingratitude. Give back those apples. <laughs> so that's it. Well, don't worry. Inasmuch as tomorrow's election day, I've prepared an oral test about the workings of our government. And I'm sure you'll all know the answers. Now, who can tell us what we call the instrument, which is the law of the land? <laughs> Come now, it's easy. Mr. Horowitz, what is the law of the land? My mother-in-law. <laughs> no, no. I, I know, Miss Balding. It's the Constitution. That's very good, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> oh, I'm so smart today, I should have my head examined. <laughs> go, on, go, on, go ahead, Miss Balding. Ask me some more. <laughs> today, I'm Einstein. <laughs> oh, you're Einstein. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Schultz. Give me the qualifications of a representative. 
<laughs> well, Mr. Schultz, don't you know the answer? No. Well, what are you looking so surprised about? Einstein shouldn't be able to answer such a simple question. <laughs> Mr. Horowitz, suppose you give us the qualifications of a representative. With pleasure. A representative has got to be 25 years old, a citizen for seven years, and a resident of his state. That's good. Now, Mr. Basco, you may give us the qualifications of a senator. Well, a senator, he's got to be 30 years old, citizen for nine years, and a resident of his state. Fine. Now, Mr. Schultz, what are the qualifications of a man running for the presidency? He's got to be a Democrat. <laughs> No, no, a man doesn't have to be a Democrat in order to become president. A Republican can become president, too. Then what's holding him back? Supposing, <laughs> if you don't mind, may, may, may I volunteer the correct answer? Yes, please, Mr. Olson. Or, if you wish, I, I can recite the whole Constitution by heart. Just give the answer, Olson. Don't filibuster. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please. Go on, Mr. Olson. Tell us the answer. Very well. Qualifications for the presidency. A man must be at least 35 years old, he must be native-born, and he must have lived in the country at least 14 years before the election. Thank you, Mr. Olson. I can always depend on you for the correct answer. Well, thank you, Miss Spaulding, but uh, really, you shouldn't praise me so much. <laughs> they might turn my head. <laughs> Go on, praise him. A couple of good turns, maybe his head will come off or... <laughs> So you only say that because you are jealous of my mental development. I have study hard to develop my brain. What do you do? Me? I eat fish. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Fish does not develop the brain. What well, then? Noodle soup develops the noodle? <laughs> oh, Schultz, you are just a big clown. Oh, please, gentlemen, please. Miss Burling, Miss Burling, I'm going like to ask you a question. You know, tomorrow people is going to vote in my store. Well, yes, you told us. Isn't it wonderful, Luigi? Yo, Luigi, you must feel real proud. Proud? For a whole week, he's walking around like a peacock. <laughs> but, but, Miss, Miss Spalding, I'm a brought the voting a ballot. It's got a lot of words, I'm going to understand what they mean. You explain it, please. Well, I can't go through the entire ballot, Mr. Basco. However, we all do have a vital interest in tomorrow's voting. Proposition number four, for instance, authorizes the expenditure of $3 million on schools. $3 million? What will really they do with so many blackboard erasers? <laughs> now, Mr. Schultz, it'll buy a lot more than blackboard erasers. That money will be spent for new schools, larger playgrounds, and the appointments of many new teachers. That's a very good a proposition, Miss Spaulding. I'm going to tell all of my friends and everybody I'm going to know they should all vote the for it. That's right. right oh, right, good right, for right, you, Luigi. That's right. Let's have more schools, more teachers, more education. I tell you, fellow citizens, now that you have elected me as your president... <laughs> Mr. Schultz. Now that you have elected me as your senator... Mr. Schultz. Congressman? <laughs> Mr. Schultz, stop that or get out. They treat me like I was the Navy. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pasquale. Listen, Pasquale, it's something very important. When you come into my store to vote tomorrow, one thing you got to do. Vote the yes on a proposition of number four. That's for schools. All right, Luigi. I'm going to vote a yes on a proposition of number four. If you vote a yes on a proposition of number one. <laughs> Want to show Pasquale? What's the proposition number one? Mary Rosa. <laughs> Pasquale, you're just a western of your time. Who's a western of time? Luigi, every minute you ain't married to my daughter Rosa, that's a one minute of happiness that's a lost forever. For me or for you? <laughs> for her. I mean it for you. <laughs> Oh, Pasquale, stop it. Even if I'm going to get married, is it not going to be Rosa? She's too fat for me. Fat, fat, fat. Why wasn't you here during the war? Everybody wanted a fat. 
Besides, Luigi, Rosa is not too fat. She's just a little uh, buxom. Is it too much of bucks? All right, Luigi. You vote no on a Rosa. Tomorrow when I'm going to vote on that school proposition, I'm not only going to vote no, I'm going to put down absolutely not the don't about it to call her, man. <laughs> but, Pasquale, one thing is it got nothing to do with the other. I think it's your duty as citizen you should tell everybody they should have voted for this school thing. For me, I'm going to stand in my store all the day tomorrow and tell the people just how they should have voted. That's how I'm going to feel about it. You're going to tell... When I'm going to see how you feel like that, Luigi, it's making me change my mind. Oh, that's a good, Pasquale. Good. I'm going to give you a little tip. Tomorrow, when the people is coming to your stall, make sure you stand right next to the pole of the booth. And when you hand them a pencil, you tell them just how they should vote. That's a very patriotic. Is it what they call electioneering? Oh, that's a good advice, Pasquale. Thank you. And now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go into my store and clean up. Sure, go, go, Luigi. And uh, Luigi, about a Rosa. Someday, I'm going to help you out of a real terrible trouble. And then your little heart is going to be so grateful to me, you're going to marry Rosa without even asking me. Is that a possible, Luigi? Well, Pasquale, everything is possible. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Go, go, go. <laughs> Hello? I left his pool room. Pasquale, get me Vincent. <laughs> Hello, Vincent? Look, Vincent, I'm going to need a little help from you tomorrow. My friend Luigi is going to be electioneering tomorrow in front of his store, and that's against the law. So you get a, one of your friends, he should buy a badge and make him believe he's a policeman and arrest the Luigi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to come along and pay off for your friend with a bribe, but Luigi's a think I'm a saver here, huh? <laughs> Big joke, eh? What? You're going to send a fellow named Tom, huh? Good, and I don't forget. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, everything's working out fine. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow and this time, I'm going to be father-in-law, and Luigi is going to be like a Frankie Lane who says, that a lucky old son. <laughs> act of Luigi Basco's adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, is a come election a day. And you should see how the city is a fix up of my store. Outside, they put a big American flag. Inside the store, they got a nice tables and chairs. And all day long, the people that come to my store walk inside the vote in a booth, close up the little shower curtain, and a vote. Well, anyway, I'm standing in my store now telling all the citizens they should have voted yes for a school proposition when it... Do I take this into any booth? Okay. Hello, mister. When are you going inside of this booth? Maybe you vote yes on a school proposition. It's a very important. What? Uh-huh. Luigi, my fellow Wolver. Oh, hello, Schultz. <laughs> Luigi, come with me outside. I want to talk with you. <laughs> Schultz, you coming in my store to vote? No, no. I'm in a different neighborhood. We got a voting place in the tailor shop. <laughs> oh, what fun. You vote and get your pants pressed at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, Schultz. Yeah? Hey, Mr. Voter, when are you going inside to vote to make a sure... Luigi, you... come here. Huh? You little dumbkopf. Don't you know you ain't allowed to tell these people how to vote? But, Schultz, Pasquale told me he's a patriotic to tell the citizens about this school proposition. Huh? 
because that's electioneering and that's a very important because it's a give a proposition for three million dollars. Oh, that scheming Pasquale. Has he got you for shimmels? But also Mrs. Spalding, Miss Spalding. Stop, stop, stop. What Miss Spalding said is all right, but not outside the voting place. Oh, you mean I should have go inside and tell him? <laughs> no, no, go to a movie, feed the pigeons in the park, throw rocks at motorcycle cops. Anything but no electioneering. Electioneering? Well, Pasquale was a told me that's a patriotic. Patriotic? That's against the law. Mamma mia, I'm a broke of the law. I should say this is a terrible. Yeah, what's terrible? They didn't catch you, so you're lucky. <laughs> Cheer up, you just outsmarted Pasquale. So smile, Luigi. <laughs> Remember what they say, he who laughs last is furthest away from the television set. <laughs> well, I gotta go now, Luigi. Come on, let me see your smile. Be like me, always laughing. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. Well, it's a good thing Schultz is awarding me. Hello, Louis. Hey, how come you're not telling the voters or what they should vote for? Pasquale, you tried to get me into trouble. Schultz was just a hearing. He's telling me it's against the law. I should have told people to vote. Oh, that a delicatessen of man. Luigi, I'm a surprise to you. Does Dada Schultz ever answer one question right in the classroom? Well, I know. No. Of course not. He's a one step lower than an idiot. <laughs> what they call a marooner. <laughs> Pasquale, Schultz is telling me there's a big law, no electioneering. Luigi, you're all mixed up. This is no electioneering. Has it got nothing to do with the voting? No. It's got to do with jewelry. Jewelry? Sure. I'm going to explain to you the whole thing from a history. All right. You see, when America's first to start during the Civil War, <laughs> about, uh, let me see, it was the year of 16 or 20, uh, they was to have uh, three political parties, uh, the Whigs, uh, the Tories, uh, and the Carpetbaggers. Carpetbaggers? Yes. Uh, they was the politicians, the solar vacuum cleaners on the side. <laughs> now, the Whigs, uh, they was the voters who had bald heads, so they wear toupees, you see? Uh -huh. That's how company call them, the Whigs. Uh -huh. well, that's uh, very interesting. And the Tories. Well, there was a two kind of Tories, uh, English and Italian. The English uh, was uh, called the British Tory, and the Italian was called the Cacciatore. <laughs> Pasquale, I thought the Cacciatore was the name of a food. Well, sure. Lots of food is a name after bigger people. Napoleon is a Napoleon cake. Uh -huh. General Custer, that's a frozen custard. <laughs> They even name a herring after Bismarck. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, you're so smart. But you still didn't explain to me about this uh, no electioneering. Well, I'm, I'm coming to this. All right. Where's the trouble they was having those colonial days it was with the woman of voters? Uh -huh. Oh, it was a lot of voting accidents. Voting accidents? Yes. You see, these are lady voters. They would go to the voting machines all dressed up, wearing a lot of jewelry and their hair... Rings on the fingers uh, and earrings in their ears. Then when they was a bend over the machine to vote, uh, the earrings got a caught. It was a terrible accident, so they passed the law, and from that time on, no election earrings. Now, you see? You understand? Maybe I shouldn't have taken the trouble to tell you all this. Huh? No, I don't think you should, but a Pasquale... Why Schultz is a Ptolemy something else? Why, why? Because he's always opposite. Now, come on, Luigi, you're wasting the time. All these people are walking in your store, and you ain't saying nothing. That's right, you're right, Pasquale. Hey, mister, you going to incite the vote? Calling car 72. Come in, car 72. Car 72. Over. Proceed at once. Antique shop, 21 North Halstead Street. Man electioneering in front of store. Investigate. 
Car 72, proceeding at once. We'll go. Yeah, that's the right, mister. And I don't forget to vote the yes and a prop position on number four. Hey, yo, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Mr. Policeman. I'm Luigi Basco, and this is my store. Are you going to vote the number four on a proposition? Uh, look, did you ever hear of a thing called no electioneering? Oh, sure, I'm watching a good. But so far, I'm not to catch you one lady voting with earrings. <laughs> what? Listen, have you been trying to tell the people how to vote? Well, it sure is a wonderful idea. More money for the schools. That's all I want to hear. Come along with me. What? The... You're under arrest. Oh, Mamma mia. Uh, just a minute, officer. Who are you? I'm a Pasquale, and be careful to who you're raising your voice at the who. <laughs> Pasquale, don't... don't worry, Luigi. Cops are going to scare me. Come here, friend. I'm going to want to talk to you for a minute. Huh? What is this? <laughs> Ooh, you scared of Luigi good, Tom. Like he was a perfect policeman. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, Vincent is a really picky good man for the job. Vincent? Who's that? That's all right, the play dumb. You look at a party, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. And look at those flat feet you got, just like a real cop. <laughs> what? Of course, the next time you're ready uniform, it gets the one that fits you. You look like a bum in that one. <laughs> ah, all right, you can come along, too. Oh, please, uh, please, uh, where are you taking us? The station thing? house. I don't want to take me there. I've never been arrested in my life. Luigi, don't beg. All right, officer, we go to the station house with you. Let's start a walk. You don't have to walk. Just get in that car. Mamma mia, everybody is looking at you. <laughs> Hey, Tom, don't act so good. You just gave me a push. It's almost a broke of two ribs. <laughs> All right, sit back. Mamma mia. Luigi, don't worry. <laughs> when my friend Vincent does something, he does it right. Just think he's even went to the trouble to rent a police car. <laughs> hey, Bud, what was all that excitement around here? I don't know. Some guy caught electioneering. Was his name Basco? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, some cop grabbed him with another guy, Pasquale. Uh-oh. Looks like I was a little late. Vincent ain't gonna like this. Oh, Pasquale, it's a terrible. How long are they gonna keep us in this little room? I don't know, Luigi, but you're not gonna stay here long. If you lose your case, the next stop is a jail. A jail? Yeah, and they got a special cell for lonely bachelors. To call a solitary confinement. Pasquale, <laughs> why they put us in a jail for electioneering? You said it was illegal. Uh, Luigi, is it not my fault that this year's no electioneering? You know how every year a woman's style is a change. Last year they was to wear long dresses, this year short dresses. But Pasquale, the earrings, why they don't wear them? Luigi, when the women is to wear short dresses, who's looking at the earrings? <laughs> John, is it no doubts about it? You in a terrible trouble, but I'm gonna get you out. Mother Pasquale, you 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 know how to do this? Absolutely. I'm gonna pay that a cop over there some money and psh, you out the whole. Pasquale, you gonna do all of this for me? Sure, little cabbage head. <laughs> now I'm gonna do you a little favor. You do me a little favor. <laughs> All right, Pasquale, what the favor you want I should do for you? <laughs> yes. I'm a trapped. <laughs> Luigi, was it so happen that the blushing bride is to follow us here? I'm going to call her in. Rosa! 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 You call me, Papa! <laughs> Yes, my little orange blossom. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. Hello, <laughs> Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, Luigi's have a bad time today with the election. Looks like they're going to try to put him in a jail. Say something nicer to cheer him up. Sing, sing. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 
Now, Luigi, like I'm a promise, I'm going to take care of everything. Oh, officer, what do you want? All right, Tom, the jokers will go far enough. The heads of the fifteen dollars, and we stop at the whole thing. A bribe. Shh, not a so loud. The real cops, are they going to hear you? Look, Vincent is sending you over to help me scare Luigi. We'll stop already. Luigi's is so scared that he's willing to marry Rosa. You can't be more scared than that. Look, Bud, I don't know this Vincent or this Tom. Furthermore, I'm bringing you up on charges of attempting to bribe an officer. An officer? Wait. You a real officer? Well, what do you think I am? Luigi, come here. We gotta pick up Daddy. <laughs> Lieutenant, I want to enter this case on the docket. Luigi Basco, electioneering in the 21st district. Are you, Mr. Basco? Please, you want to judge you, Lieutenant. If I'm a did it wrong, it was all of my fault, but, but I'm a didn't know. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Please, please, Lieutenant, don't put my name in that big book. I'm not a citizen, but believe me, since I'm coming to America, I'm going to do everything I can to obey the laws. When I'm going in an elevator, sign it says, watch your pick a pocket. Once I'm ride up and down a whole day just to watch in a pick a pocket. <laughs> street the sign that says stand in a safety zone. Every time I'm across the street, I'm a stand in a safety zone, even though I'm a taking my life into my hand. <laughs> I'm a rem remember the first week I'm in America. First time I'm a turn on my radio, man is to say, keep a tuned to this station. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm over a year in this country. That's the only station I'm ever on. Well, Mr. Basco, according to the charges, you are electioneering in favor of the school proposition. Now, I see by the returns that are coming in that that proposition is being carried by about 12 to 1. <laughs> so it looked like everybody was on your side anyway. Still, you shouldn't have been electioneering. Uh, please, Mr. Lieutenant. Uh, who is this man? Uh, your highness, uh, <laughs> I'm a Pasquale, a fellow who's brought a Luigi from the older country. It's all of my fault. I was playing a joke on Luigi so he should marry my daughter. I'm the one who's encouraging him he should electioneer. What? Yeah, then, uh, you see, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. Then it was a friend of mine who's supposed to come over and make believe he's arrested Luigi, you see. Instead, is a coming you fella. Now, how am I supposed to know he's a real cop? He's got such an honest face. <laughs> Cut this short. Uh, Mr. Basco, you may go home. Oh. In the future, watch what you do. Oh, thank you, Lieutenant. Yes, he will. I'm going right home with him. Not you. Mr. Pasquale, you're being booked for encouraging electioneering, trying to influence a man to impersonate a police officer, being abusive, and attempting bribery. But a lieutenant, I'm a told you. I'm going to do all of this just to try to marry off of my daughter. Frankly, I don't believe any man has to go to such extremes to marry off a daughter. <laughs> any daughter. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I don't believe it. Where is she? Rosa. You call me, Papa. Case dismissed. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, things is a work out all right, and after court, I'm going to back to my store to watch the citizen as a vote. But it's the time, no more electioneering. One of the fellas that walked over and asked me what time I'm a got, and I'm a told him, sorry, but ask somebody else, I'm a neutral. <laughs> You're loving a son of Luigi Basco, the immigrant. <laughs>